Okay, cool. Uh, a sixty three or nodes distant k in binary tree. We're given a binary tree with root node root a target n uh, a target node and an integer value k. We turn this all value or yeah, I cannot read today. We turn a list of all the we turn a list of the values of all nodes that have a distant k from the target node. The answer can be returned in any order. Okay, so hmm. so I mean this is just um. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at the example. Uh, the tree representation of the input is also like a little bit annoying. But anyway, so the target is five. And are these all these elements are unique? Otherwise, how do you know which one's five? Okay, well, note that are uh, actually tree nodes. What? Oh, the root and the target is uh, tree nodes. And the input type is serialization. Okay, well, th these serializations are kind of hard. Okay, anyway, I gotta read. Okay, so yeah, but the target is a tree node. Uh, and yet you want two away. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think this should be straightforward. I think this is a. a, a I say this and then I'm gonna mess up. But uh, each node, okay, each node in the tree has unique values. So I guess that makes it slightly easier. When am I supposed to return the nodes or the? Yep. The, oh, the values of one nodes, not the nodes. Uh, the answer could be in any order. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, it could be up to a thousand. Uh, So given tree is not empty, you should have to trade unique value. Uh, I mean, that means there could be only up to 500 nodes, right? So I don't know what the K is over 1,000 is. I guess you just don't return anything. Um, cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we just have to do the math on this one. Uh, I, I think the intuition is probably roughly right. Um, but is a little annoying to uh, kind of uh, yeah just a little bit annoying to kind of uh, 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 fix I guess but uh, but that should be okay um, hmm I think there are a couple of ways to do that I mean you could just do the math and then like you know with k is equal to 2 that means uh, like for for a given k uh, like uh, not I don't think you can see the mouse here, but for example, in this case, for the node five, uh, you go down to the going down uh, part of the K is very obvious, and that's straightforward. Just you know, recurse to the, that level. Uh, but then going up and then going down, uh, that's one edge case, uh, one case, uh, and then the other one is just going up to and like if you have two seven, you have to go up to go to five. Um, so you have those two edge cases, uh, depending on. Uh, uh, the, the depth of the target node, uh, but but otherwise it should be straight, it should be okay. Uh, I think there may be some ways you could play around with it, like you could re node the tree such that, um, such that uh, your target is becomes the root, then everything else is easy. Um, I might actually do it. That way. Can I do it that way? Does it have a pen? Uh, the, the kind of annoying thing about these things is that it doesn't have a reference to its parent node. Uh, I think I'm going to. I don't know if this is cheating or not, actually, to be honest. But um, but I'm just going to. I think for this problem, uh, I'm just going to. Like, I don't know if this is in the spirit of things or trees, I never know. Uh, but. But you could also argue that if you could put it in an array, then you might as well just put it on the nodes, right? And we could have a, a hash table of nodes to parents. So I'm just going to put it on the nodes. Uh, and that obviously is of n space. Uh, I mean, I think you don't need the O of n space. If you, uh, uh, you could probably just do an O of 1 space for optim optimality, and you just kind of uh, 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 you you solve each edge case by itself by doing math and keeping track of 
minor uh, like a couple of variables uh, like basically the depth uh, and seeing if it's done on the same tree but, uh, but I'm just going to be a little lazy I'm going to create the, 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 the link to parents and that will allow me to kind of just do a depth of search uh, from the target uh, I'm not, not a depth of search but well it's a uh, 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 what's it called uh, one of the trivial shows but I'm going to do it uh, pre is it pre order post order one of the order trivial shows uh, uh, yeah and I think that's what I'm going to do uh, cool uh, so I'm going to do things like sub dot uh, link parent. Mm -hmm. mm, may not even need to do this actually, but I'm going to do link parent and then uh, mm, and then just. I'm just trying to figure out how to name things. Naming things is hard. So if you, you see poor naming, just call me out on it. Uh, go K deep. Say, uh, I mean, like I know what I want to do, but the naming is hard. I think back it, uh, and then maybe I could even return. No, I mean, I don't. I could return it, but I could just return some of So it's Okay, so that's kind of my general algorithm. Uh, uh, so you, you start with the root. Uh, root uh, maybe I could actually just. Yeah, okay. Yes. It's done. It's had to. I guess for the root, there's no parent. Oh, well, maybe I just do. Mm. Yeah, okay. I want the code just to make sure that it doesn't go infinite loop, but I think it should be okay. I always think things should be okay, so okay. Okay, so that uh, I wonder if I could stuff. Yeah, it should be okay. Whatever. Okay. So now I can kind of uh, just do an order traversal. So if okay, it's equal to zero. Um, this is just cool. Also, I need to make sure, sure that we don't, haven't seen the same thing multiple times, but uh, okay, this should be okay. Um, pen, current, that well. Okay. 
otherwise home dot scene oh I guess I should set nodes up It's actually only just to... Okay. Um, no. Uh, no. Current on left is... Use Demolish Tone or one of the Demorgan's Law, <laughs> but uh, I'm not gonna do it yeah, for now. Um, I'll do the same for both white and parent. Could actually probably do some meta programming with some partial functions on this one, but uh, it's too late. <laughs> okay, that looks okay. Uh, I'm gonna submit just because it, it's such a pain to do a solar station thing, but okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I think yeah, with, with, with these three problems, there are a couple of ways to do it. I think this is uh, very easy to understand, and I don't think there's anything um, algorithmically difficult to understand, or you know, and you don't have to invent anything or use any pieces. It's just uh, uh, I think you just have to consider all the edge cases, uh, which there are a couple where. Uh, but the way I did it, I kind of uh, uh, try to do it in a way that I don't have to worry about these edge cases with kind of. You know, going up, but then you have to go up for the parent, and then their child, and so forth. Um, I just kind of did a depth of search and of uh, kind of almost like a DFS ID kind of thing. Uh, the depth of search with iterative depending, but only on one depth. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, 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 I think this is a fun problem. Um, it's a little bit annoying, and just a little bit annoying enough to for practical coding. Uh, Having with these kind of tree problems, it always kind of um, uh, uh, you have to kind of uh, uh, like you, there's no reading your interviewer's mind. Uh, you have to actually like communicate with your interviewer, uh, 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 like, hey, what are you looking for? Like in the sense of like, like a lot of the times, uh, the time the constraints are artificial, right? So you have to kind of make sure that the, you know you have uh, uh, you understand those artificial can constraints uh, but otherwise uh, I think it's uh, I mean yeah it, it's I mean it uses tree in this case but it's really just a, a, a regular graph problem uh, with uh, of distance whatever and then you and with uh, any graph problems there's a number of ways to do it uh, in this case uh, the, the the edges are unweighted so that's why kind of uh, depth research works and that's kind of what I end up with uh, as a result. Uh, 